Well, I'm making my own cables for my solar install. I bought bulk battery cable. Uh, actually, it's welding cable. So it's the heavy, uh, heavy duty copper, pure copper. Um, stripping my own wires, put my own crimps on. Here's how I do it. So I strip down these wires using this tool that I bought online. And it was pretty expensive and I was a little skeptical. Till I used it and it works uh, really well on this type of cable. So really all I do is I push that open with my thumb. Inside here is a little uh, cutting blade right there. And so put it where I want it on that cable. And it squeezes down like that. And then I just rotate the uh, cutter Like that, and you can feel when it's when it has cut all the way through. This lever here turns that cutting blade, and it makes it cut a a line across here, and it pulls it right off. So there's the uh, result, and there's the cable. The connectors that I'm using uh, are crimp-on type. I put them on like that. I got to make sure I get all those wires in. Just about like that. I line up uh, the line. There's uh, some code and printing on the side of this casing right there. And I usually try to line up the flat side with that so that I know both ends have the same type of uh, alignment when I install them. Okay, so this crimp tool, I took a two by four and I split it down the middle after I put a, uh, I think it was an inch and a half or a two inch hole through the middle of it. I split it down the middle to make two pieces. I laid this crimping tool inside there. It's not tight, but it's it acts as a third hand so that I have a way to hold on to stuff. Open up the jaws with the, the adjustment uh, knob on the side. Place that in there. I usually crimp it down all the way. Let off the pressure a bit. Roll that thing to the next side. And crimp it again so that it gets a... Uh, Complete pressure on that all the way around with no uh, with no little ears. Sometimes the ears will be created by the pinch between the two dies. But that's what it does. And from there, take one of these pre-made uh, adhesive lined sleeves of uh, insulator on there and... Just roll that uh, shrink tape on there around the heat. And say you heat it up enough to where you can see that adhesive start to creep out from under there, then it's then it's shrunk down all the way. But that's how I do it. And that's the outcome. So now this cable is ready to go on. I got both ends on there. And that's how I make battery cables for my solar.